What's up everybody? It's Georgina. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I am going to get ready with you guys because I have a dinner later today. Actually, well, yeah, later today, tonight. I don't know what's wrong with me today. I'm like in the weirdest mood ever. I'm like super tired and I'm just kind of out of it. But yeah, I'm gonna get ready. I'm gonna do my hair, makeup, and I'm gonna pick out an outfit. I have like two outfit options, but I don't know which one I'm gonna do yet. I'm kind of in a hurry as well. Like I only have a little bit longer than an hour. <laughs> I mean, that should be okay, but I don't have like any time for procrastination. Procrastination? Procrastination? <laughs> So yeah, I'm gonna start with my hair. I'm thinking of doing like some loose waves or like some loose curls. I don't know, just like something quick because I don't know, I, for some reason I don't want to wear my hair straight today. I'm just kind of not feeling this right now. Like, you know what I mean? I want a little bit of a wave in there. So let me find my curling thing. My room is the biggest mess, like literally everywhere. It's just stuff everywhere you look. Um, I think I'm gonna use this um, hair tool. It's from Haw Tools. I've been using this like the past couple of times to curl my hair and I've been loving this. I also used this on Halloween and my hair looked so freaking bomb. So I'm just gonna warn you guys if you hear like an annoying beeping sound. It's the curling iron. Do you hear that? I don't know if you guys can hear. It's the most annoying beep ever but whatever i feel like it's more fun to get ready whenever you are in a little bit of a hurry because it's like you need a you know like there's no time for bullshit or for procrast why can i pronounce that word procrastination there's no time for that so you just have to be quick and yeah basically i don't know i'm just spritzing my hair with some this is the Curls and Clouds Volume Spray and this stuff is really good. I kind of use it as like a hairspray because it has like the tiniest bit of hold in it but it also gives you volume. I'm just gonna take like huge sections like this so it's gonna be more of a wave instead of a curl. And I'm gonna leave the ends out like this and just keep it on for 20 seconds. 20 seconds is pretty long, but I have it on 180 degrees, which is not that bad, I think. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Do you guys see this? Oh, I don't know if I told you guys what I'm doing tonight, but basically I'm going out for dinner with Gelano and some of Gelano's family. Um, Just like, it's like a casual dinner, you know what I mean? So it's not like fancy or anything. But, you know, that's like the most exciting thing going on in my life right now. So sometimes, even though it's casual, you just have to dress up a little bit and like put on a cute outfit. Um, even though it's like nothing fancy. You know, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Why does my hair keep getting stuck in this fucking thing? One side done, which is this side. Now I'm gonna do the other side and I'll be back with you guys. Transition. Okay, so I finished both sides. As you can see, this uh, side already fell down a little bit more and this side I just finished doing. I know that it still looks crazy. I promise you it's gonna look better than this, okay? Like I'm gonna brush it out and hairspray it and everything, but I'm not gonna brush it out just yet because I want the curls to set a little bit more. So I'm just gonna clip this to the side and do my makeup and just like let them set. In the meantime, I'm gonna turn this thing off. Primer, you got, oh, why does this look so weird? Like, look at this. Okay, I, I'm just hoping that it's gonna look good because I don't have any more time to like recurl or fix this. Um, primer is Too Faced Primer Peachy. You guys know it's literally the best primer ever. Oh shit, I'm already wearing like a BB cream still. I put that on this morning and I kind of forgot that I had it on, whatever. I'm just gonna put the primer over it. 
foundation is morphe filter effect soft focus foundation and the color tan 18 i know that i've been using this foundation a lot you guys but i do have to say it's like one of the best foundations that i've ever ever used because it feels so lightweight on the skin it's like the most perfect finish it literally looks like um a filter on your skin when you wear this it's a couple of shades lighter than my face but my neck is darker so it's gonna match really nicely with the rest of my body for some reason my face is always lighter than my neck which is annoying but for concealer using the best urban decay stay naked in the color 5-o-w-y again i know that i use this like so much but literally i don't have like the time right now to go grab other makeup products and literally just using what is laying in front of me um which are also my favorite products by the way but sometimes i feel like i like reuse the same products a lot like in all of my video um in all of my videos but those are like really my holy grail foundation um makeup products i mean i feel like we need a little bit more coverage there today underneath my eyes because i haven't really been sleeping very well <laughs> the past few days so i'm gonna add some extra concealer this is the tarte shape tape um but yeah let's talk about that i literally have not been getting like a decent like sleep every single night which is annoying but i've been like really stressed and so much is going on in my life and i feel like that is the reason that i'm not really sleeping well which sucks because i'm literally just wide awake even though like my body tells me like i'm tired it just doesn't let me sleep and it's, it's the most annoying thing ever okay contour stick so suffice so and jackson and warm just putting that on there and also in cool which is this color which is a cooler shade just popping that on top taking my morphe brush to blend this out this brush um, that i'm using right now is amazing it's the morphe e63 brush and i use this little baby for everything like my foundation cream contour i even sometimes use this to blend out my concealer even under my eyes like that's how good this brush is it's kind of like too big to blend it out under your under your eyes but i do it anyway now i'm gonna set that down with this powder from she glam this has been my go-to lately it's the insta ready face and under eye setting powder and i use the like little top powder for underneath my eyes just go in with my um sponge and just set it down it kind of highlights this area as well a little bit and then that's why i love this powder it actually comes with like a face setting powder too oh <gasps> no fuck off. i just spilled that uh bronzing powder all over the freaking floor as i was saying while i was spilling this whole powder onto the freaking floor it comes with a face powder as well and i'm using like a darker shade and i use this as my as my bronzer so i just put a little bit on there and use it as my bronzer do you guys see like that's the most beautiful color ever like for a bronzer i'm sorry if i'm just like not making sense in this video i feel like i am all over the freaking place and i also use the same powder on my eyes so like just put it in my crease and on my lid i'm going to apply some blush this is from morphe as well this is the cherry coke blush it smells like coca-cola and it's so pretty i'm just gonna add some on my cheeks oh that's so freaking gorgeous i'm just going into this natasha denona palette and i'm gonna take this color right here it's called smoke and i'm going in with my thin liner brush you guys know the drill i'm just gonna make this like a super smoky eye like with smoky liner and everything so i'm first gonna lay it down on my lash line like this and then just blend it out so it looks really smoky <laughs> doing a little winged eyeliner right now and kind of blending that out 
I am going to do something which I've never done before. I'm going to put blue eyeliner in my waterline. I've seen some girls like do it on TikTok and I really want to hop on the trend because I want to see what it looks like with my eye color. So, so I have this pencil from Makeup Forever Aqua Resist color pencil in the color Deep Sea. It's like really dark. It almost looks black. Okay, whatever. It's still pretty, but it's not like... Like on camera, you can't even tell it's blue. Like maybe from really close up, but from afar, you cannot see that it's blue. Whatever, I'm just gonna put it on. I don't have lash glue. This is not the first time that I forget my lash glue. The thing is... I have my, like, I always take my lash glue with me. Like, I put it in my bag that I take with me every single day. And I don't have that bag right now, which is just so very smart. Are you kidding me? I really wanted to wear lashes today. I do have this lash glue, but it's, like, so dried out. And I know that if I'm gonna, look at this. It's, like, so old. Okay, yeah, no, I'm not going to use that because I just know that's not going to stick on my eyes and then I'm going to be even more annoyed. But yeah, I was going to wear my brand GGB Beauty Lashes in the style Blossom, but you know, just, just forget it. I don't have the time right now to feel bad about that, so I'm just going to curl my lashes so I can put mascara on these bitches. I absolutely hate doing my mascara and that is literally the reason why I always wear fake lashes. Literally why I started my brand. Well, not only for that reason, but I literally hate doing my lashes so much because you spend so much time on them and then they still don't look good. Like, they still don't look how you want them to look, if that makes sense. But when you put lashes on, it just always look good because the lashes always look good. You know what I mean? Like, you just stick them on, and it's, like, guaranteed that you're gonna love how it looks. But with mascara and with your natural lashes, that is not the case. Because, I don't know if it's just me, but my lashes have their own, like, they just live their own life. In the meantime, while I let this dry again, I'm gonna do my lips. And I'm gonna use this lip liner from ColourPop. This is the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the color Field Day. I've been getting so many questions about um, the lip liner that I've been wearing recently. Well, it's this one from Colourpop and it's amazing, let me tell you. Okay, I just checked the time and I'm actually doing pretty good. I'm like on schedule. Um, so I can stop like worrying now. Isn't that the most gorgeous color. Now I'm gonna do a little gloss over my lips. Um, actually, let's do lip plumper. I'm gonna use Too Faced Lip Injection Maximum Plump. I actually hate how this feels, but I do love how it makes my lips look, how it makes my lips look, but I don't like how this feels at all. If you put too much, like, your lips are literally on fire. Okay, I think this looks really good. I'm loving the blue eyeliner. It's, like, something different. Oh, my gosh. My lips are actually on fire. Like, I, I really don't like how this feels. Okay. I need to pick an outfit. I have two options. I'm, of course, going to show both to you guys. I have a dress that I want to wear with tights. Um, and like really uh, knee-high boots from Zara. Or I have a two-piece, which is um, black flare pants and like a matching top. But I have to wear like a jacket over it or something because it has short sleeves. And it's like really, really cold today. This is what my hair looks right now. I still have to brush it, like I said um, to you guys. But I'm not going to brush it yet. I'm gonna brush it when I have my like outfit on and everything. So I'm just gonna clip this back a little longer. Okay, option number one. Hold on, I have it right here. They're both from um, White Fox, by the way. 
it's this dress it's like a pretty short dress i would say i don't know like maybe to around here like it doesn't come to my knees like it's pretty short but it is really cute it kind of like cinches in uh, into the waist like this and then i was thinking of wearing it with tights and like knee-high boots from zara that are downstairs but i will show you guys um them if i end up wearing this or wait this isn't a i thought this was a um short sleeve it's a long sleeve okay oh that's gonna be a hard one because you know i'm just thinking like i'm going to eat a lot like every single time i go out to eat i think okay i'm gonna have to wear something that i'm gonna feel comfortable in when i have like a full tummy so i don't want to wear like tight jeans or anything like i want to wear something that covers my stomach uh, you know because i bloat a lot not that i'm like embarrassed of it or anything but i just don't feel like comfortable like sometimes when i'm really bloated i feel really uncomfortable and it's just not fun okay option one um this top and then these are the pants the only thing is the pants are just way too long i'm wearing my platform converse with them and they literally still touch the ground okay that was a sign from the universe i just went on like i went to put on my tights and i ripped a hole in them and i don't have any other tights which means sorry for my underwear which means it's just gonna be this. The decision has been made for me, so it's gonna be this set. Just putting the pants back on. Ah. <sighs> Don't feel comfortable. I need to calm down. I'm gonna brush out my hair because I haven't done that yet. At least my hair looks good. Like, it looks really, really good, even though this side is more curled than that side. This is the hair. I think it looks really good. I think I'm actually running out of time now, so I'm just, like, gonna put, like, my whole outfit together, and I'll speak to you guys when I'm done. Actually, I changed my mind, and I'm gonna go full fancy with heeled booties. Um, I just know that I'm gonna regret this, because that's right every single time ever that I wear heels. I regret it, but... These are what the boots look like. They're not high or anything. Like, they're pretty comfortable. My Converse um, were just, like, way too low for these pants. Like, even these heels are too low for these pants. Jelano just called me. He's, he's on his way um, to mine to pick me up. But this is what I look like. And I think I look really good. I love my hair. I love my makeup. love my outfit. I don't really love the shoes. But you gotta do what you gotta do when you are tiny and none of your pants fit you um so yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to my youtube channel turn on your post notifications don't forget to follow me on instagram which is at georgina joanita as well as my beauty brand at ggb beauty and i'll see you guys back in my next video bye okay now let me pose for the thumbnail